the last card from the blue eye structure deck has finally been announced and no it is not a synchro a fusion or a link monster but rather an xyz monster it makes sense because we basically have everything else we're just missing pendulum pretty much and we're, we can still play a pendulum monster in blue eyes which is chaos emperor dragon of armageddon so yeah you can play pretty much all kinds of monsters hold on a second am i missing one ritual no th yeah there's chaos max yeah there's practically everything so yeah finally an xyz monster in the deck which is pretty cool. Uh, hopefully it has a good effect though. So it's uh, Indigo Eyes Silver Dragon. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't look like a Blue Eyes Monster to me. Level, uh, no, rank 8 to Dragon Xyz Monster, 4000 attack, 0 defense. Exact same stats as Chaos Max, but it's a light, not a dark. Ah, huh? okay. Yeah, I guess that's a... Uh, that must be the light alternative of Chaos Max. It is sadly not generic. You need two level 8 Dragon Monsters. So the issue with that is that it makes it so that the Horus package cannot go into it. A little frustrating. You can only use the first and third effect once per turn. My, I, I don't understand why they do that because if if, the, if a card has like a continuous effect, it might have been, it might as well be like the first effect because it's not even something that really matters. Anyways, if this card is XC summon, you can negate the effects of all phase up cards your opponent currently controls. Yeah, I mean, okay, sure it negates permanently, but it's not like it matters that much because what are you really negating? Like, seriously, what are you negating? Are you negating stuff like Nightmare Pain, which is, like, the only thing that I can think of that is, like, semi-good to negate? But the issue is, you can never get to summoning this card if your opponent has Nightmare Pain on the field, because it means that your opponent has full combo, and you're gonna die regardless, so... <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's really hard to even get to the point where you can summon this and benefit off of the first effect. So yeah, so far, this is already looking kind of weak for what it does. I'm not a big fan. Cannot attack directly unless it has a normal monster as a material. Usually this is not going to be a drawback because you're probably going to summon this with at least one blue eyes red dragon and the other one could be like blue eyes jet or emperor dragon or levineer. But if you summon this with like levineer and armageddon, then yeah, it's not going to be able to attack directly, which is a little annoying, but it's not like the end of the world. You can detach one material from this card, then target one normal monster in your grave or banished. It's always going to be blue eyes. There's nothing else that you can really revive. Special summon it, and if you do, it gains a thousand attack. Okay, yet another one of my issues. Because of the fact that this is a monster that requires two level 8 dragons, you're most likely going to be using two blue eyes monsters to make it. And if you want to benefit off of its monster reborn effect, you need a third blue eyes in order to legally be able to activate this card. You can't just detach the material and then revive back right away unless you also had like another legal target prior to be able to activate the effect in the first place. That's kind of shit. Honestly, it's really bad. I don't like this. It basically rewards you for playing your deck incorrectly because Blue Eyes is much better off as a synchro deck. It's not the kind of deck I can really imagine being like an Xyz or rank 8 uh, spam deck. It's not great at doing that. And the new support made it very clear that the level 1 light tuners are what carries the Blue Eyes deck now. Not really the um, old uh, monsters that you used to play with uh, Melody of Awakening Dragons, such as, you know, Levineer, Emperor Dragon, etc. And Alternative. Those cards, honestly, they are now buried in the past. They're no longer really worth playing. If you play those cards, my issue is that you're gonna start breaking a lot, so it's either you're gonna, you gotta, you gotta sacrifice some hand traps in your deck, which makes your going second much worse, because Blue Eyes is not a deck that naturally pushes through gigantic boards, unless your opponent does nothing. And that's my issue with this card. This card doesn't look like it does much of anything if your opponent does much of things. And it's a going second card, it's not a going first card. I don't think you need a difficult to summon Xyz monster in your extra deck to start negating everything your opponent controls. It's It would have been insane if it was like a, a, a Link 1 monster that required like one level 8 dragon for example. That would have been really nice, because at least you only need one blue eyes and, you know, you got a link one that might maybe have, like, another effect. But once you summon this, realistically, I also can't imagine the third effect coming up, uh, coming in handy. This, this card, again, it basically rewards you for playing Melody Awakening Package, which I think is incorrect in the first place, because you gotta commit to, like, six extra cards in your main deck, so... Yeah, Emperor Dragon, Levineer, Alternative, 3 Melody, so that's six, six less potential hand traps in your deck, or you gotta play over 40, and at this point you're gonna start breaking, because then you play less one-card starters in Blue Eyes, and Blue Eyes is a deck that really needs to draw its starter in order to play, because when you don't have, like, Sage, or Maiden of True White, or Neo Kaiser Seahorse, or um, uh, Bingo Machine, or the other one, Prayers with Eyes of Blue, your deck pretty much does nothing. Like, you can try playing hands with, like, Double Veiler or, like, Veiler and uh, Saga of the blue Eye the Dragon. Those hands don't really get your engine started. They really just make, like, 
Spirit Dragon Pass, which is fine, but it's not really going to carry you to victory. So you need to get access to Eternal... Uh, hold on a second. The, the, the Trap card, yeah, True Light. Yeah, you got to get access to that card in rotation. And again, you really have to play a very small deck just to be able to always get access to it. Uh, again, the Horus Engine would um, would have been a much better, like, uh, modern replacement for Melody of Awakening Dragon so that you don't have to play a lot of bricks, a lot of cards that are really bad uh, in, the, in the early game. But unfortunately, this card does not make you benefit off of the horse engine because it's not generic so it's my issue every single time i try to just think about something positive to say about this card i remember how difficult it really is to summon this card would have been much better if it was a generic rank 8 monster it would have been much better if you could revive back any blue eyes monster from regular banished because then you can also revive back your blue eyes spirit or your blue eyes spirit ultimate dragon well no not blue eyes spirit ultimate because it's never revivable but you get what i'm saying and I really don't understand why this card had to have a drawback. It's just not needed because it's not like it's an unfair card. It's not the kind of card they were trying to play uh, like outside of Blue Eyes. This card could, could have had like an effect when it dies. So that if you are trying to break boards with this card and you're using two Blue Eyes monsters to make it, that's a lot of commitment, by the way. It's not like your deck can just spam 57 Blue Eyes monsters for free. There's a, like, there's a hefty cost to summoning this card. And you're probably going to get stopped by interruptions before you can even get to that situation. Or if you use its effect to negate everything your opponent controls, it's not like you can... You can't imagine that it's going to have a huge impact because all it takes is for your opponent to have one interruption. And then this card is fully nullified. Even the Monster Reborn effect does nothing. And then you pretty much wasted two monsters to make a 4k beat stick that doesn't do jack shit. And also doesn't float when it dies. So yeah, this effect, instead of being a drawback, it should have been something like when this card is, well, if this card is destroyed by battle by card effect, or if this card leaves the field by an opponent's card, you get to revive back a blue eyes monster from your grave, or like recycle back a level one light tuner from your grave at your hand, something like that, that already would have been so much better. And I would have had less crap to say about this, but clearly this is the worst blue eyes support card from the structure deck, which is really weird because usually Konami likes to keep the, the best for last, but... I don't know, this is just a huge disappointment. And as a matter of fact, if I had to describe this card with one single word, I would be hesitating between saying disappointing and useless. But yeah, you guys let me know how you feel about Indigo Eyes Silver Dragon in the comment section. Personally, I'm not a big fan. I, I'm not trying to influence you too much, but clearly the way you should be playing Blue Eyes should be as a synchro deck. It's much better off as a synchro deck. The level one light tuners are <laughs> there to be served as synchro materials. So I don't know. I'm just not a fan of this guy. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Peace.